I found out not long after meeting Bobby that he was sober and in recovery, it has been amazing to share that this journey with Bobby and to try and impart some of the wisdom I have learned. He is already like a son to me. As it turns out, we have a lot more than just sobriety in common. Most notably, fine automobiles and Rolex watches. Kelly have the same very expensive taste. Stacy is more concerned about them going broke than the longevity of their marriage. I'm really glad we were able to have the wedding outside today. Otherwise, there might not have been a wedding at all. But joking aside, Kelly did a masterful job of putting the wedding together. I read a quote last night that said, a father holds his daughter's hand for a short while, while her husband holds her heart forever. That heart now belongs to you, Bobby, so hold it tight and never let go. I would say it was love at first sight, but I don't remember the first couple of times meeting you. After you shaved your big red beard though, it was game over. I remember one of the first times we hung out in Lake Arrowhead, I was sitting in the back seat of Route 1 series on the center console and you put on a really old DJ set from Hard Summer. You and I knew every word and were singing and dancing to it. Every time we made eye contact in your rear view mirror, I would get the craziest butterflies. Once we started dating, it was smooth sailing until we found out about your cat allergy. You had to step outside at my parents' house because you couldn't stop wheezing and sneezing. Miraculously, once you heard that my mom mentioned yeah. the D word, yeah, deal breaker, yeah, those allergies disappeared. I always hoped to find someone who would tolerate my cats, but I never imagined that I would find someone who loves them as much as I do. You are the best cat dad and they absolutely love you which if you know them is a huge deal because they don't really like anyone but me. We fell so hard so fast and I knew you were the one after two months of knowing you and before we even started dating. Recently I asked you if you would ever love me as much as you did when we first started dating. To which you replied, I love you now more than I did then and I continue to fall more in love with you every day. I vow to do the same. I have been impatiently waiting three years for this moment. You are my person and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life laughing with and at you, listening to music and re-watching every season of It's Always Sunny in Trailer Park Boys. Callie, from the moment we met, I was struck by your natural beauty, bubbly personality, and amazing sense of humor. Little did I know that those traits were just the tip of the iceberg with you. Over the past three years, as we have begun building a life for ourselves, I've learned just how compassionate, thoughtful, and understanding you are. Each and every day that I get to come home to you and our cats is a blessing. You are my best friend, and I am always my happiest when I am with you. Whether we are out to dinner, on vacation, sitting in silence, or laughing on the couch in our sweats watching reality TV, my time is always best spent with you. Not only are you my best friend, but I know that you will make a fantastic mother to our future children. There is no one else I would rather spend my life with. I vow to always be honest, committed, and respectful towards you, to always make you laugh and smile, and to always do my best to give you everything that you could ever want. From this moment on, you will never have to go through anything alone, and I am so excited to begin this new chapter in our story.